We're gone. We're back for the next day of our Dwarven RimWorld run. So we are continuing RimWorld Biotech. And we are on our second run of Biotech. This is uh, day two. So if you're watching this later on, well, this is actually, this should be the first edited series going up on YouTube. So I guess I don't need to say all this anymore. Um, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. And maybe it'll be a flop or maybe it'll be a, a home run. A s slam dunk. We'll see. Other, other metaphors. All right, so let's talk about our dwarves a little bit. So uh, I did update exclamation genes. So if you want to see what genes we have. Um, so right at the end of the stream, we got hit by Cassandra. So she could hit us again. And also Soul Sapper got two diseases right in a row. Almost like he has uh, sickly, but he does not have sickly. So I have no idea what's going on there. I guess Cassandra is just a real friggin' jerk. And uh, yeah, we got moved into the mountain. We still are low in population because we are racist. I mean, we are dwarf strong, We're dwarf strong. Sorry, we're dwarf strong. We're not racist. <clears throat> anyway, flew in a bit. Play, yeah. <laughs> so Cassandra hit us right at the. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Cassandra hit us right at the end, so she could definitely hit us again. Uh, we did get to chain shotguns. We got three chain shotguns. Oh, and we got a high mate. I'm actually gonna name the high mate because we're gonna keep the high mate. So right off the bat today, we're gonna see who our concubine is. This is gonna be interesting. So, whatever name gets drawn from the queue is the concubine. So. Come on, come on, it's Rom Nom, oh God. I almost always play Randy, but every now and then I play Cassandra to make it a little bit harder. And yes, Cassandra on average is harder than Randy. Believe it or not, I have a guide up about it, but uh, I usually play, uh, the previous run that we just finished was against Randy, but this one is against Cassandra, so we can actually see a lot more raids, so. You know, race got a blue pawn, well they are a concubine. So Rom Nom, why is Rom Nom all capitals? I don't know, cause he's a concubine, I guess. So, we got Concubine. Now we're playing Randy. Wink. How's it going, Fathom? Welcome in. Uh, Derpy Ninja, Lou Bomb, Carlos, Mander. Welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, and I'm going to intentionally play differently than normal, and I know I'm going to get questions like, Adam, did they nerf barracks? Adam, why are you making bedrooms? Adam, are bedrooms stronger than... I'm just literally playing different and playing themed. That's it. That's it. Just, just for fun. What? Playing for fun? That's not allowed either. So, anyway. Going ocean. Rom nom, look at you, concubine. I uh, thank you. Is it Lethalor? Lethalor? Thank you. Now, our dwarves, you wouldn't think it by looking around, but our dwarves have high libido and they have very high fertility, right? But they just didn't want to breed. They just didn't want to, they just didn't want to. So we got some research done. We had some refugees come in, and I said, all right, let's use these refugees to find out how to fertilize each other. And so we did. And they taught us uh, by shuffling some papers on how to breed. And so we got two little dwarven beans, and they're now in these growth vats. So uh, our dwarves won't mate. Well, we're going to make some dwarves in a vat. So we got some dwarven vat babies that are that are brewing here. So uh, we're going we're gonna to make some dwarves, whether I put it in a tube or what. So the singularity kill box do does our art. Are you joking about it? Or are you asking sincerely? It it does work. I literally just used it in the run right before this. It works 100%. Even works against boss raids. On the guide itself, it says updated 1.14 working. The description's updated. The pin comment is updated. The singularity box works. It's overpowered still. It even works against boss mechs. I literally just used it in the run before this to show that it still works. So I'm hoping it's a uh, hoping it's a joke because I'm being asked it so much. all caps feel like you may die i know i was i was wondering about that or uh i did that on accident but yeah i don't know wrong we'll, we'll just know that you're not joking you didn't use sarcasm because there was no it was in text so you didn't use a kappa there was no slash s and now you're banned no oh oh i see the s yeah i missed the s <laughs> I read too fast. He got me. Canceled. <laughs> Raiders keep passing into the barricades. I think I go over that in the guide also. So, <laughs> my my stream since 1.4 has become a a singularity. Tech support stream. So, uh, yeah, I, I saw, I saw now. 
All right, so they keep running into your barricades, right? So you got your barricades. Let's just say you have it like this, right? You got your barricades, you got your barricades. All right. You got your doors, whatever, right? You got your doors. So this is what you got, right? And they're open. And you have people run on the on the barricades. There's only two things that can be happening. One, you don't actually have the doors open. They're set to be open, but they're not all actually open. They have to be actually open. You have to draft one of your colonists, take them through the doors while it's held open in order for it to actually ha be open. So that's a common mistake. So you have to have all the doors open. Now, if you have it all set up exactly perfectly right, including all the doors, still some are going to go on the barricade. And there's a reason why. The biggest reason is you don't have enough firepower yet to kill enemies before they get here. Because what will happen is when an enemy is going through, if they get stuck behind someone else, they will choose to go around them. Or if a corpse or an item falls and it counts as a slowing object and there's nothing in the next box, what that does is it will trigger them to uh, slow down and then speed up. But instead of slow down and speed up, they will instead choose to go across the barricades because it's faster. So basically, uh, long story short, reached. you need all your doors actually open. And if you're not killing them before they get to you, then you need more firepower. And if you don't have that much firepower yet, you're going to have to reset. You might need a second one, like the guide says. You might have to reset back and forth or even like um, even like have a door on the other side of your base and just open and let them reroute over there like I show. But anyway, um, that's, that's the two most common things. And that concludes our Singularity Trouble shooting for today no i'm sure i'll get asked some more questions it's okay what would replace how does hunger work when i moved to rim world uh yeah there's a couple that could replace it one is why what what's up with all the tables there we go and the second one is does the singularity still work yeah. oh god it's going too fat crew assassin welcome back is this a new run it started yesterday let's go on silence sorry yesterday that was firepower. Yeah, so if you're not killing them fast enough yet, just have another one or have a backup in order to shut that one and route them back and forth until you get enough firepower. Once you get a few chain shotguns that are excellent quality or so, you'll be ripping through everything. Why not 1.5? Let's go ahead, Suki. Welcome in. Boss Max was able to fire from outside your range. Res the Max in your singularity. Uh, so if you... If the Apocriton... If you... So there's a couple things going on there too. Oh. <laughs> all right, you, you know how, let's, all right, these these are the, let's pretend that this is where you're shooting from in the singularity. You need a wall behind your people. You need one behind your people if you don't, and you can only stand in the 11 spl spots that I show in the video. If you, don't, if you don't have any of that, no, it's okay. If you don't have any of that, what will happen is they can shoot at things back here. So that's the first off, right? That's the first off. You have to have a wall. You might see in the last run, I put a wall back there because what would happen is I'd have the 11 people, but then someone would come over to clean something or just walk by carrying something. And then the enemies would be able to shoot because the enemies can actually shoot in a lot of areas of here. They just can't shoot in those 11, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is if you get an Apocriton boss and you don't get him stunned in there, then yes, he can sit back and res mechs and they can pop through that corner spot. So you, if you have an Apocriton and it's in the back, You'll probably need to grab a couple people to protect your EMP throwers outside the tunnel, but it shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad. I was able to stun him every time, so it wasn't a big deal. But if you're not able to stun him, uh, then you might want to make sure you have someone held back with your EMPers just in case. <laughs> Welcome back, Stone birds. Your steadfast Who have both sensory and virus mechanites? They're out of the for the count. You just got to wait them out, unfortunately. Uh, sensory mechanites and fibrous mechanites are both time-based. So you're just going to have to wait them out, Neff, unless you have like a healer mech serum. It's going Nova, Jack, Bob, Strategist, welcome in. What's the purpose of these? So by default, enemies can't shoot from the same tile a column is, uh, is on, and it slows them down. So what happens here... The downside to these over barricades and stuff is that the barricades have more HP, but the barricades have other problems. So basically, this makes it so enemies won't shoot from that tile unless they get stunned into that tile. They will start shooting from it if they get stunned and come out in that. So this is to force shooters to come into melee range instead of shooting at us, basically. Build a regular one, too. Jack, they were the three ones. Thank you, Jack. Jeremy, tier three. 
18 months. That was a long time. Tier 3. Thank you, Jeremy, for the golden sub. Much love to Jeremy. <laughs> what problem do the barricades have? So, the barricades, the enemy picks up speed faster. So, barricades have more HP, but don't do as well. Well, they have two problems. They don't do as well as slowing, and the other problems with the barricades, the barricades gives more, um, gives more cover. So as the enemy is walking through, that's the biggest one. Instead of getting the cover from this, which is only 25%, enemies will get 55% cover as they walk through into melee range. And right now, with us having so little firepower, we're not breaking these anyway. And with us having low accuracy, we, would, we don't want the barricades to be another barrier to our poor accuracy and being able to hit our target. So early game, I prefer columns a lot of the times. Um, so, but there are trade-offs if you're doing it in a shotgun melee tunnel and in the shotgun melee tunnel, the columns are going to make it so that you hit the targets more often is one of the big parts. A barricade, you're going to hit them less because of the extra cover they get while they're backed up here. But, uh, I, I suggest if you are using this specifically, the reason I'm using this in this run is because it's a shotgun melee setup and that's what we're mainly using. I wouldn't use it if we were using other guns and things, but I suggest using this early game because of the reduced cover, the 25% instead of 55. So that's that's the big reason. That's the big reason. Barricades were, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna give cover to the enemy, yep. All right, all right. But no, I, I, don't, I don't mind. It's just funny that uh, since 1.4, I've had so many people that are like, oh, well, I guess the, the singularity is not working anymore because you're not using it. So I ended up, I was, man. So during the last playthrough for anyone that wasn't here for that, I had a lot of people coming in and being like, oh, you're not using the singularity? It must not be working. And then why is he not using it? And I was like, oh my God, I'm just going to make it. I'm just going to make it. I might, I might not even use it. I'll just make it. So I built it. And then right after I built it, someone new to the channel came in and was like, do you always just use the broken singularity to win? Do you ever play differently? And I almost died. I literally, I like, quite literally, I went into the, like cardiac arrest. I was laying in the floor. Anyway. <laughs> It's like you can't friggin' win, man. But anyway, it does still work. Peanut butter sandwich and fly away. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. A little dramatic. It's real. It's truth though. I, I died. I literally died. No, you, I was dead. They pronounced me dead. Uh, I was dead for three minutes. Yeah. Oh man, the racetrack was so good. That's one of my favorite moments of stream ever is the the day after the racetrack when I was trolling people as revenge. Any infestations? Yeah, we had an infestation almost as soon as we moved into the mountain. Yeah. It's true, you were there. What's in the tank? Those are baby dwarves, you see? Baby dwarves. Biocon, welcome in. Viriatha. Cool mouse. J Rock Goat. Squids. Zug. You cat waffle, welcome in. I'm sorry, Mage. Yeah, thank you for doing it. I'm sorry, Mage. What's in the box? It's Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Oh no, I was just about to watch Seven. I've been putting it off for 20 years. I was finally about to do it. Recreation deprived? You have two diseases. You just laugh at it and pity me. <laughs> But yeah, we had an infestation um, very early on, actually. Almost as soon as we moved to the mountain, we had one. So. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. It was two hives. I bet we'd be up to like five hives now or something like that. What the vats do? We're breeding baby dwarves in the vats. So we have babies in there that are that are growing. What are the rooms on the right? Is this the bedroom run? Well, these are on the left. So no, the rooms on the right are not bedrooms. <laughs> it's all it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna use bedrooms just to play differently this game, yeah. <sighs> Blame it on Lysdexia. <laughs> How many calls do I plan on getting this round? I don't know. As much as I as much as I get, I guess, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making baby dwarves until 
we're overpopulated. Uh, <laughs> mod wife had a res serum, yeah. I might have a resurrection psychosis, we'll see. Blink twice if you need rescuing. That's right. Uh, do we have any quests going? No, not really, okay. Let's go in, wolf Pokemon. Raids cannot spawn up here. I need to make a clip for that too. Raids cannot spawn here. Raids cannot spawn on the same tiles as Red Mountain. Why did I dig there? To let people have an exit because otherwise it bugged out. So the orig original reason I did it is because we had guests that couldn't find their way out of the mountain. And so they were just wandering around stupidly and eating our food for like three days, even though they were, they were already had the message that they were leaving because they couldn't find their way off the map because of the single wide tunnel that I had, which screws it up. So I opened this and they just went straight out so this is to let people out, but it does not let people in. So no, we cannot get raids from up there uh, because there is overhead mountain. You cannot get a raid from the same tile as a roofed tile. She beat me with a noodle until I got up. That's the real story. That's the real story. All right, I'm gonna test something here. We're going to go ahead and smooth just one of these. What's my infestation strategy? Melee block and kill. We already had infestation. Right now, the infestations won't be super big, so I'm just gonna melee block and kill them. That's why I'm leaving space on every side of every door. So you see, I have at least three spaces on every side of the door. Um, so I'm just literally melee blocking and killing them at the moment. And once they get bigger, I'll have a bait room. I think you can still leave the map for caravanning. Yep, I believe so. We did that in the, yeah, we did that in the, the Winston Wave. So yeah, you can still caravan out that way. How many hours did it take me to learn which tidbit? The, the roof on edge can't spawn raids. I learned that a little bit before the cheese run. So I had probably played the game like 3000 hours before I knew that raids can't spawn where there's a roof. Um, walk on raids cannot spawn from the same edge tile that has a roof. I've always hesitated making exit tunnels. You still have to be careful in case it's thin rock roof. If it's thin rock roof or no roof at all, so you, you have to be really careful. Um, no, they can't drop through overhead mountain either. So you do have to be careful. If that was thin rock roof, then yes, we could have drop pod raids through there and we wouldn't be able to build anything in. So you could use spots in that case though, if you wanted, but... But yeah. Bag door efficiency, that's right. Is there a way to make a freezer underground over Red Mountain? What I usually do is I usually vent the heat into the entrance tunnel if there's no if there's no thin rock roof. If there's thin rock roof, you can make your own chimney to vent heat. Um, or you can find a place like this that opens to water where people can't come in. So th those are your, your best options is make a, um, you know, have the heat go out the entrance tunnel, make a chimney or make like a back entrance to deep water or something. Uh, you can't put, yeah, you can't put spots. So you can't do spots. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I said that. You can't put spots on this side of this line. So that's true too, without a mod. Yeah, you can't build there. Yeah, but you can, you can mine there. Difference between a thin wall and overhead mountain, thin rock roof and overhead mountain, sure. All right, if you click this, you see the dark green? That's Overhead Mountain. If you hover over it in the bottom left down there, it says Overhead Mountain. You cannot remove that roof without a mod. You cannot permanently remove that roof without a mod. You see the light green? That is Thin Rock Roof. That you can actually just remove. So you, you literally can go into a zone and put Remove Roof Area, and you can remove Thin Rock Roof. Drop Pods can also go through it. And again, you can see it in the bottom left, it says Rock Roof Thin. Yeah, or developer. Yeah, developer mode. Under the VPN ad. Oh, okay. Well, in the bottom left where the VPN ad is. <laughs> can overhead mountain roof collapse? It very much can. It will It will continually collapse. So if you have a... Uh, if you don't have a support nearby and the overhead mountain collapses, it can kill people and it can even delete the corpse. It can cause so much damage. And then if you mine the piece out before you have another support, it will just collapse again forever. Ah, uh, yes, you can use the alt key now. That's right, that's right. Look at this, roof, overhead mountain. Roof, rock roof thin. So you can use the alt key now. Thanks to 1.4. How's it going, Smurf? Spaceman, welcome in. How's it going, Miss Fortune? 
We're gonna have our first baby dwarves, baby dwarves. You know what? I have wind complaints about Overhead Mountain. Well, I, may, I might have a few, but I do have a quick comment. So you'll have a map that has no mountains. Like it'll have, um, it'll have even a flat map will sometimes have it like this. Sometimes you can have a rock area like this and there's like two tiles that are overhead mountain. <laughs> You'll mine this out because you need that area for your base. And there's like two tiles of overhead mountain that will just collapse forever. And you got to think about it. Like what kind of mountain is that? What kind of mountain is that? It's it's a single tile that just goes up forever. Like what is this? There's, there's no way. Wouldn't that just fall over? But anyway, that's, you know, game. That's some kind of, yeah, some kind of one foot wide spire that goes up into space. Uh, I always hate that. Like you'll have a flat map and you'll have, you have a big open, perfect area. Right. And then you'll have this and it's like, all right, I'll, I'll just mine through that. And there's like one tile of overhead mountain. It's like Tynan, please. Cause everything wrong with the is Tynan's fault at the end of the day. Um, you're getting ads, even though you are, well, I'll wait until it says they're done. Thank you, Jay. That's a stalagmite. It's a big stalagmite. Uh, so, Miss Bad Attack, there are... So, if you have a subscription, you should not get ads here. However, if you have a subscription and you are using an ad block on Twitch, Twitch will sometimes try to get around your ad block, even if you have a subscription to the channel, and they will force ads on you if they can get around it. So, if you have a subscription here, make sure you have your ad blocker turned off if you have a subscription here. Refresh the stream and you should not get any more ads, but yeah, they, they did make something to try to get around people using ad blocks, certain ad blocks, and it will work even if you have a subscription, which is kind of weird. You can hold that whole mountain with a column. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, no problem. I, I had it happen to me before. I was like, what? If the roof classes, does the type of roof change? It does not. It'll be, it'll be overhead mountain forever. Let's go on. It's lock hot. Welcome in. The kingdom under the mountain. That's right. It's going all right. Same mood boost from bedrooms versus barracks. Yeah, it'll just take up more space. Yeah. Yeah, and we're tunnelers, so I'm making very small bedrooms, but we'll see. Doesn't living in the mountain mean you'll get infestations? Yes, I've already had infestations. What's my energy source right now? What is going on with Soul Sapper? There is something weird happening, and I don't know what it is. This doesn't make any sense. This feels like it's bugged. Uh, yeah, I have one geothermal right now. Soul Sapper is acting like he has uh, sickly. This is the third disease he's gotten in two days or three days or something. That is not supposed to happen with Cassandra. Like, it just literally isn't. I don't have Rocket Man on right now. What do you use to move the heat? You don't need to move anything. If it's considered outdoors, the heat stabilizes instantly. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. That's it's really weird. Strong immunity. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so weird. What is going on? Fine cop three. That's awesome. Thank you, uh, Soul. I think you're watching over there. Uh, it is Maka. Yeah, Chris, welcome in. It's got IP music. No, <laughs> it's so weird that only Soul Saber is getting it. Like, what is what is happening with that? It's alcohol dependency new. It is a gene. Yep, from biotech. Our, we our people will literally die if they don't get alcohol. And that sucks. At least it's muscle parasites now, not something that can kill him. It literally can't be bad RNG because Cassandra has a cooldown on disease. It, it literally can't be. We It's impossible for a non-sickly pawn. It's, it's supposed to be impossible for a non-sickly pawn to get three diseases in three days from Cassandra. Cassandra has a cooldown on it, but... And it's only hitting Soul Sapper, and I have no idea why. 
Very weird. Very weird. Like literally acting like they're sickly. If this was a sickly pawn, 100%. I don't, I don't think anything about it. There's only one male in the colony right now, yeah. Yeah. It's, it has been, it's definitely not been more than nine days. Let's check. Let's see, there's a plague on the eighth. It's been four days, okay. Yeah, four days. So literally four days. Her cooldown is a game start restriction. Yeah, let me know if you find something that's changed because I've never had this happen with Cassandra before. And it's literally only hitting that one pawn, which makes it even more bizarre, right? Like it's very odd. But within four days, it got three diseases. They're not sickly and it's Cassandra. But yeah, let me know if you find something differently, especially since 1.4, whether it's actually been changed or it's a bug, but it's very weird. Thank you, pineapple. Thanks, pineapple. Very weird. See the good size, not all the pawns. That is true. It's not all the pawns. We have the, um, we don't have the big one. We have the strong immunity. So we have strong immunity. Kind of bug? Did they just release a new DLC? Yeah, there's been lots of bugs and stuff. Yeah, they're doing hot fixes almost every day. So we can get to decent bedroom just doing that. Okay. I want to test one other thing here. Uh, did we end up getting an artist? I think we did. Oh, I don't want that there. I want to make sure I have room. There we go. I need I need three tiles on every every door. It's going hard rock. Are we winning? I'm gonna go with yes. Some smooth walls, pretty decent. Yeah, and for anyone that doesn't know, smoothing walls is only one wealth instead of the twenty it used to be. Slap one gold in there. Someday, but not not this day. Not to this day. Can't wait till we get our little dwarven baby. Half a day. Half a day. Well, it's going to be a newborn at half a day. It's going to cord. Welcome in. So the game could be expanded. Smoothing thing that's been like that since uh, 1.3. We thought it was a bug, but now smoothing floors still count as full wealth like it, like it always has. But um, smoothing walls is only one wealth per tile instead of Let's just go put that out. I don't want to have to worry about the power lines. It's my toll house. Welcome in. Spire and surgery. Yeah, that's why we thought it was a bug that because the wealth dropped so severely on it and it dropped, it wasn't in like any of the notes or anything, but they never changed it back. So from an alternate universe. Uh. Uh, we are still low in food. A lot of that is because of those visitors that we had. So we had some visitors that just ate through. We had like 2,500 mushrooms. People were like, why do you have so many mushrooms? And then we had nine visitors come through and eat us out of house and home, like no, no food left, right? So, but some of the mushrooms are about to come back in. Pot belly, the pig, <laughs> pot belly pig, incapable of violence. Hey, pot belly pigs get bigger than you think. People get them thinking they're gonna stay small, get pretty hefty, as we can see here. We don't love answers, great. Uh, yeah, I don't know why my doors are not, they have high libido and extra fertility and they're just not doing what I want them to do. Fat baby. Your pot bellies, yeah, 150 pounds squid, yeah.
A healthy vet birth. All right, so do we want to shove this baby back in there until it's three? Yeah, let's do it. Get in there, baby. All right. Baby needs to cook for a little longer, just a little longer. Loving a lot less on biphasic. That's weird because before biphasic made them get more loving. I would sometimes have times eight per day because of the them going to bed twice. So yeah, that's weird. Or if they change something. Mystery backstory, you're a concubine for beginning of doors and you're not a dwarf, so what's your role? All right, so for anyone that doesn't know about the high mate Xenotype that they're at. They're one of the 10 new Xenotype factions or whatever you want to call them. High mates will bond with whoever you want. 100% romance type. They'll, they'll just immediately go and, and you can set it. You can be like, all right, fall in love with that person. It'll happen. So what good is that? Well, let's look at the person that they fall in love with. Claw. Here it goes. Psychic bond to Romnom. Pain reduced by 50%. Consciousness increased by 15%, which is incredible. Consciousness is one of the best kind of stats to have in the game for many reasons. But that's not it. That's not it. We go into their needs. Psychic bond, a permanent plus 12 as long as they're both still alive. In addition to all their other things while for being in a, in a relationship. So basically, whoever you have a high mate bond to is going to be much stronger and much happier um, than, than not having one. Now, unfortunately, we have diverse thoughts, so we do need to get them uh, switched over to our ideology. But, uh, yeah, it's it's really strong. It's really strong. So what I do is welcome in. Yeah, you don't want one of them, yeah, you don't want one of them to die or leave or whatever. You, they need to be together. But as long as they're alive and in the same colony, you're, you're in good shape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. My child is in a growth vat minus four. I don't know if it stacks. We're going to find out. I'm only aging them till three. You can leave them in there longer. Yeah. You can leave them in there longer. I'm only putting them in there until three. I already have that set, Purple Star. Yes, I know about the romance button and I have it set to 400%. I, I know, thank you. But I do know, and it's not helping because the person that's in a rela actual relationship, the chance of them having a baby right now is 3%. So 400% of 3% is only 12%, so. Do multi-ideology colonies work? You can make it work. They made it a little bit better. Um few months ago. No, I haven't edited it to fix the beards now. Let's go and shot. Welcome in. If a high mate dies or leaves, should you get rid of the person they were bonded to? Uh, I, I'm not going to. Yeah, I would just deal with the mood hit, but. Sloth slandered claws family. Your family's in a growth vat. I'm not sure if cryosleep screws it up. I know it's not a bedroom yet. Yeah. I know. That's intentional. Sloth, for God's sake. Message you anything? It sure does. Please don't overuse it. It highlights your message. It's for when chat's really busy. It highlights the message, turns the background green. It blinks it. It puts it up somewhere else on my screen. I had to make someone stop using it like a couple weeks ago because they were literally just using it over and over in everything. 
just to highlight their message. So, welcome back. So, Your a little, loyalty a little annoying in that sense. Usually it's fine, but. Torgman, 13 months. Thank you, Torg. Jack, for three. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Torgman. Much appreciated. Well, if they do, they'll start getting timed out. So. It's going insane. Ray J, welcome in. Alinius Enigma, welcome in. The singer. I'm not even going to read the rest of that Emerald Dragon. <laughs> oh, yeah. No worries, Kidara. No worries. I don't mind answering the question about what it what it does and what it is or anything. But I was just I was just letting you know that uh, what it does in that every now and then someone will like super misuse it. But for the most part, that's why I've left it on. It's like for the most part, everyone everyone's good about it. So. Oh, these growth vats take so much nutrition. We're gonna have to make even more. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. We're gonna have to make even more mushrooms because of these these vat babies, man. Holy crap! Abuse your power, uh, soul. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, soul. Uh, really don't want to do this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do you, mod wife, have any opinion on Henry Cavill leaving The Witcher? No. Neither of us have watched. We don't. We haven't really had time to watch much of anything in a long time. So neither neither of us have have watched The Witcher. So. YouTube videos. Keep trying to type. In the chat on YouTube. <laughs> I can understand that. Cook. Vat babies, more like fat babies, am I right? Am I right? Oh my god, they eat so much. They eat so much. I'm gonna have to plant more. If we're gonna do more vat babies, I'm gonna have to plant even more. Ugh. No, I, I did see stuff about it, but I haven't uh, haven't had a chance to watch anything in a long time. So not too much of an opinion because of that. A generous uh, Enigma, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you, Enigma. Mm -hmm. Cool mountain base so far. Let's go on Captain Three Bottles. Var that grown baby's better. No, they're actually worse, but they're easy to deal with aside from the extra food. Throw the babies in blood. No, <laughs> that doesn't seem very dwarf, dwarf-like of us, you know. We're not 40k dwarfs. Yeah, it's Misty Spider Sisyphus for children. It's true. It's gone verb. Zami, welcome in. When did I start this run yesterday. Yeah, the reason I start at three or st I'm stopping at three. Oh my lord! So that's when uh, from three to seven is when those growth tiers really matter the most. It seems. Well, from three to thirteen, I guess I should say. From all the dwarf babies, you need to plant shrooms and singularity kill box layouts. Not sure how this will help, but you're sure it will. <laughs> We're not 40k dwarves yet. That's right. <laughs> It's a lot of steel in there. I kind of didn't want that much steel, but oh well. Infestation. Where? All right, here we go.
They've definitely gotten bigger. I don't like how that's gonna break over there. This might be a problem. Not the baby! Not the baby! station taken care of are bugs turned on though no they're not all right who's on hunting cool. We got an insect jelly. There, that'll stop their griping for a little bit. Let me see. If, yeah, yeah, I saw that one pop in down there. It wasn't too big of a deal, though. That went pretty well. Uh, infestations are a major threat. They are, yep. They are a, um, they do count on Cassandra. So, yeah. I th unless it's been changed, but they, they are considered a major threat, so. I guess we'll find out soon if she attacks or not again. The baby almost got knocked out of there. Is that baby traumatized? Maybe he'll grow up to be tough. It'd be perfect. Wish the base game had a slaughter all marked down enemies. Yeah, that would be nice, yeah. Would not mind that. That over a little bit. Since Ludian only seems to release hotfix notes on their Discord, would it be possible to get like a Rimworld hotfix channel? Um, yeah, that might be interesting. Even just they don't do a lot of hotfixes after the expansion has been kind of out for a little while, so the channel wouldn't be very, um, you know, important here. In just probably a couple weeks or so, but till then, uh, that would be that'd be nice to have. Yeah, we we can we can probably use something like that. Is the food poisoning the same for babies eating jelly? I don't know. I guess so. I love the kill box design on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Are burn boxes nerfed? No, they're not. I haven't seen you make one in 10 minutes. No. I don't think the doors would burn people alive too much. We might use some moats, but I don't think I'm going to use the actual box. I know you're joking, but let's go on. New gamer. Welcome in. Whoop. Requesting colonists. One colonist for gray eyed. So we don't actually need uh, Lilith. And they're causing us to have a minus four. I don't know. They're actually pretty strong. We don't have a lot of shooters. I'm not going to take it right now. The rewards are kind of crap anyway. Okay. To use uh, convert on ROM. They're at 91. What would be the percentage on here? 64%. We can get that up about 10% more by increasing the quality of the room. Why isn't there a colonist trait where they don't, where they just like everything dirty? I don't know. There's mods for that. But yeah, in the base game, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Vacropon. Which one? Lilith? Which one? Starting with some of the genes like robust and strong, immunity, ROP. Are you enjoying the feeling of them? Well, I mean, in this like themed run, I'm not doing this as like a super challenge run or something. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to make them like super OP or if you want to make them, uh, you know, kind of more balanced or, or weak or whatever. I do have some pretty negative things with us as well, though. Like, I have slow poke on everyone, which kind of sucks. We can't do any side casting on anyone, which kind of sucks, especially with a tribal start. If we don't have beer, we'll die, you know? So I have some negatives to kind of balance it out a little bit, but obviously our strength in combat is not, other, other than kiting, I won't be able to kite in this run, which as you know, I like to do a lot. And the option to make or take on multiple storytellers at the same time. That'd be kind of cool, yeah. I wouldn't even mind just having like a Cassandra that has variable points. Oh, the, the quest spawn. Apollo. I don't remember if the dreaded one is a backer pawn. I think it, you might be right, though. Yeah, I saw that, too. The good side about cooking with the jelly is we're getting rid of the... Um, the food poisoning chance, you know? But obviously, we don't get the... Well, we still get the bonus. Not not as much as eating yet. We're not getting the mood bonus, but, you know. It's whatever. Smooth walls, mountain base, or build walls. It's better to smooth the walls. Why well, grow the babies in a vat? So I don't have to worry about crying babies for three years, and it's faster. So um, the babies are going to get to three years old, and then we'll, uh, then we'll raise them normally. Fair enough. <laughs> it takes less time, and I don't have to worry about someone actually having to take care of them and, like, play with them and... All that kind of stuff. Too. Minor break risk. Get over it. Blue thing to the left of the lamp in the main room. This? That is a ovum. That's an ovum, so... Uh, we only have one male, and the male is this person's brother, so we don't want any inbred dwarves, but... That's that's a way that you can make baby and then implant it into a female or into a vat. Sick vat birth. I've never seen that. Well, that sucks. How does the sick infants do in a vat? Like, if you put the infant back in the vat? I've never done that. That's not good. So I want to get this friggin' baby. We didn't have that happen in the last one. Oh, we don't have a... I don't know. Yours died when you put them back in the vat? No, no, no. I said cancel. Oh, my lord. I don't know if they fixed the grave illness yet or not anyway, but we'll see what happens. I don't have any baby food. I don't have anyone with, with milk. We just used all the jelly. <laughs> that, that child's dead. That's not incest, baby, you know. No, that one's not. Ah, we got we got some baby food made. Never mind. You can use raw fungus on it. Yeah, it's probably 
gonna die though. It's it's my it depends if we get a bad roll. We'll see. Quit a beer. Can streams get blighted? They cannot. Rom nom, you play with that baby. Nope, neutral fungus, nor devil strand can get blight. Thank you, hamsters. Be out for the week. Watch your can. All right, hamsters, be safe. Uh, it was bugged, Phoenix. Does that mean they fixed it? Because it was back when we had a sick baby. It was where you literally couldn't save them. Like, even with developer mode, you literally could not save them. Even, like, perfect 10 quality every single time, if it rolled grave over and over, you you just, it, they eventually died. There was, there was nothing you do about it. Did they fix that? Do I have bioscult research? No, not yet. You can cheese baby illness. You were able to heal it. Did yours roll grave? You could just remove it, obviously, with de developer mode, yes. But, I mean, doing, like, perfect tending as if you got it. Yeah, so you had 130% tin quality. The baby was gravely ill, and it got and it died. It was major, yeah. So the grave one is the one it seems like you just can't overcome at the moment. And if it rolls into it, you're kind of screwed. Because it changes. It rolls into, like, one of three every so often. And if it rolls in a grave multiple times or whatever, they're pretty much just screwed. I saved it with a vam. Yeah, I'm not going to make this one a vampire, but... Yeah, so yours never went to grave. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm hoping. Like, you see how it's at 18? If this one can get to zero before it ever ticks to grave, we should be all right, but... Biosculptor locks in disease severity percentage. Reroll timer still goes, so you chuck the baby into the Biosculptor for three days. Rolls to a new level. Keep chugging in for three days until it re-rolls. Common or mild. Gotcha. So as long as this one... I mean, we'll keep an eye on it. So as long as this one doesn't go to grave, we'll be all right either way. And it looks like we're actually winning right now. Marriage is on. Claw and Romnom. Yeah, we got lucky with the minor roll. Might be healed before it gets to the tin time. IDS and Rimworld. Yeah, let's go do man. Oh, oh. Hey, we got lucky. Shove that sick baby back in the vat. <laughs> Thank you, mage. Thank you for doing this. What? I don't know. That's not what I meant. There we go. All right, no more baby food, please. <laughs> there we go, Nazi baby. <laughs> what vat? I'm a, I'm just growing them in the vat until they're three. Till they're three. Rolls grave X amount of times, that's guaranteed. Yeah, it might it might very well be. Back when I got grave for the first time, it would just not I maybe I was just severely unlucky and it wasn't like a bug, but it just kept rolling into grave no matter 100 percent tin quality, no matter what. It just kept rolling into grave. There's just nothing we could do about it. Plague again. This is a interesting Cassandra to say the least. Ooh, 31 quality. Ouch. We don't have preach health up yet. Listening to this while working from home is jarring. Rolling in the grave. To see your name as sick baby. It'd be sad times. <laughs>
Nurgle Cassandra. Yeah, what the crap? Nurgle Cassandra. Cassandra is Papa Nurgle. Okay, we're fine. Lost your only mechanic sword to the plague. Oh, that's supposed to not be plugged in. I usually don't use dead wires. I'm going to use it here. Chicken strips. Hey, October's over. Cut that out. Should be able to have a 10 below center or something. Be nice if Glitter World just healed a grave baby. That is not the case. Another transfer pod. All right. Red. Optimus is a great memory. Ooh, a base liner. 34 female. We're going to pretend we didn't see her because she's not a dwarf and she's far away. 100% Pluto World. I, yeah, I'll do one of those sometime. Adverse Evil was too short this year. I know. I think we only had eight streams, so 13. It's fun, though. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't as scary this year, but some of the games were good. Two medical from Plague with six Glitter World Medicine. That's kind of crazy. Started the ship on your solo mechanic to run. Good luck. How's the first YouTube series lately? Uh, this one's going all right so far. Yeah, thank you for watching on YouTube. Probably answer this. What base storyteller do you think is the most difficult? I think Cassandra is the hardest on average. Hardest on average. The reason I'm leaving these rooms divided up like this with doors a lot is so that we can Come, steal uh, yourself. tank infestations we like we just did. Army. Death gun, not to be confused with death gunks. <laughs> uh, death gun, thank you for the 10, or no, 11, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you for the 11 gift subs. Thank you, death gun. Look at all these new subs, even some resubs. <laughs> thank you, death gun. It's very generous of you. Much love to the death gun. Never thought I would say that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Viewership numbers on YouTube since Biotech has been really good. Yeah, it's been really good. I've been getting about on it. So now that it's died down a little bit, I've been getting about 80,000 views a day on YouTube. In fact, as of uh, two days ago, the channel hit 8 million views, which is kind of crazy because my videos are so long. So total 8 million total which is like a drop in the bucket for a lot of people but for me that's a lot that's a heck of a lot thank you the great construction how about no so my the number of watch hours i have is really insane that's the big one it's really insane big raid time immediately our first breach raid uh we are not really ready for a breach raid Crap. Uh, yeah, we're not ready for this. This is gonna be really scary. And the tox packs in the mountain. Well, at least now we'll know which direction breachers come in from. So. Blow themselves up. I don't think, I don't think so. How's ventilation in the mountain? Well, it's not good for 
toxic packs, that's for sure. Wow, I didn't realize that shot was going to connect that way, obviously. Scary times, my friends. Scary times. Okay. Lilith needs to see you. Rom nom. Luckily, didn't die. Okay. Tinned. Uh, rescue them. I get that rebuilt. Power rebuilt. Uh, okay. Okay, well, let's get intended. Clean that up. Uh, who's our construction person? Be a rhino. Rhino, get that door done. Get that done. Strip them. Strip. 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 We can get some uh, armor out of this. Okay. Lilith is going to be all right. 
Rom. Almost died, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, allow everything. That block back there. Ryan, are you bleeding? No, you're not. Okay, deal with that. Uh, make the power conduit. All right. I know we're we're getting power back. Yeah, vat babies need power. Okay, work on that. We got a few more sections here. I think that will get our power back. How's that plague doing? Okay, they're good on it. Rhino, finish that, please. That was a little scary. Thanks for watching the no pause action. <laughs> Glad you enjoy. How's it going, Primordial? Yay, Hash Monkey, Nyla, welcome back. Oh, man, oh, man. Way to restore a natural stone. Yeah, without a mod, yeah. That'd be pretty nice. Okay. You mentioned farm from medical experience and found out character quality is capped at 10%. Grab a genie, remove their clothes and limbs till they're worth 10%, and quickly get everyone to 10 medical. Child's even better. Unfortunately, they grow up. <laughs> Just rim world things. Yeah, I do plan on doing the power differently. I just hadn't got around to it yet. I'm going to smooth this and run it actually up through there. But bird kill box? I have no idea what that is. Burn? No. Spawn from the north? They cannot. It's a red mountain. They can't spawn there. Probably not doing the bird tunnel on this one. Of a no. So many things to do, yeah. Yeah, luckily, uh, infestations are on cooldown, so I don't have to really worry about this screwing us up right now. Like, an infestation in there would, would kind of suck, but it can't happen, so. So we're good. That was the second Cassandra hit, too, right? Yeah, so Cassandra should be chilling for a little bit. Scanning wall with rough living supposed to give a mood debuff? Uh, yes. Unless you have it turned your precepts differently. How long is the infestation cooldown? I don't, how long is it? There is a cooldown on it. Oh my God, I used to know this. I don't remember. If anyone knows, let me know. But there is a cooldown on normal infestation. Why do I need so much beer? Because our people will literally die without it. You might be like, Adam, you're being dra drastic. That's not true. That's what? You're exaggerating. Uh, no, our people have genes where they will literally die if we don't have beer. Playing against Cassandra this game. We just finished a Randy playthrough. Gotta get those corpses out of here. Because unfortunately our people hate corpses. First time I played was corpses being ugly in a long time. Never do hauling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infection on ROM. Okay. Gotta be careful, too, because ROM is not a dwarf, so they don't have extra immunity. Any cleaning max take only a standard subcore. Um, I might change it at the same time the fabric core. If they changed it. What's my favorite genetic trait so far? I don't know. Yeah, robust maybe. Yeah. 
How did doors publish the research? To get them beer reviewed. Ha <laughs> ha. It's going long knife. But the game treats them like downside perks. Aside from the, you know, you'll die without them, yeah. Does robust and tough work? Yes, they stack, yeah. Oh, we ate these stupid things out of here. I hate to do this, but I want to do it. What do they change about the Fabricor? Fabricor can now cook. So Fabricor can do crafting and cooking now. How long until these start rotting? 2.1, okay. Rhino, can you just make that? Okay. Robust stuff ponds are about, yeah, they're really crazy. Real crazy. Any bot able to do deep drills? No. Not yet. Tame the insects and the infestations. Use them for mounts. You can tame them, but you can't use them for mounts. Unless you get a mod, I guess. That would be interesting, though. <laughs> Destruction 19 on Rhino already. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Rhino just finished. Come on. Ravishly hungry. Uh, Alright, go eat. Now finish that. Thank you. What determines the max skill at doing something? Their skill level is 10. Max skill levels are 10. What was the psychic bond you saw in one of your pawns? That is the ability of the um, high mates. It increases, it lowers pain by 50%, increases mood by 12, and increases conscious by 15%. are pretty awesome at the moment as far as like what they do for your other pawns does this run on youtube right now no this run just started are you getting spoilers if you're gonna watch later on youtube then yes start the one with the fire foam pack i thought they were all tox packs i didn't see a fire foam pack Apparel to forever. Uh, allow tainted only. No utility. Okay. Is it worth it though? Cost of a high mate buffing another pawn. High mate themselves are useless. But they're they're not useless. I mean they they can't fight directly, but you can have them, especially how strong children are, are and high mates have a plus eight social. So you can have them be like your, and they're always happy. So you can ha have them be a leader that never breaks down, a moral guide that never breaks down. You can have them um, teach the children, get children's skills higher. I think they're definitely, it's, I think it's definitely worth having at least a high mate for sure. Yeah, and children are kind of OP, that's true. <laughs> All right, how are they doing? They're okay. So to recycle tainted armor into steel and cloth and plasteel. Yes, I do that. Not do it yet, but I will when I get a um, smelting or a smelter up. Right. Major break on Lilith. Ah, you'll be fine, Lilith. Get over it. Yeah, medical. Yep. 
can do medical. All right, once we get this uh, patch back up, we will get over to the smelter. So we were just talking about. I think we should have power. Yeah, uh, yeah, we still have a little bit. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's see. What do you got here? 25, 31, 22. They're, they're siblings. 28 on Sloth. All right, Sloth, we're going to take another ovum from, from you. Rom is good. There we go. All right. All right. Start saving. I guess I need to get this set up a little bit better, too. There's several different things I need to do here. Hmm. How do I want to do this one? I guess I can do the double shotgun to start with. We don't have a, the problem is we don't have a lot of people. Like this, this is about like maybe I replace one melee with one shotgun, but it's not really a big deal right now. So I guess I guess I'll wait. They're bad solo pawns. Well, yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be mates. Can't non combatants to make better weapons? Never fired one. Transhuman is Neanderthals. What an interesting concept, just in general, even outside of Rimworld. on using their rocket swarm turrets playthrough it's really hard to use in, in no pause it's good but it's really hard to use in no pause because you can't pre-aim it like you can with a um with a mortar so you have to like actually have a pawn on it and then aim so i might try to use it some in this one since we're doing the whole heavy weapons only kind of playthrough but have to be careful because it come back to really bite me Really wish you could pre aim it like you can with mortars. Solar flare. Hmm. Hmm. Babies aren't growing during solar flares. Do smart breachers actually avoid rocket swarm? That's a good question. Does it count the same as a turret as far as sappers and smart breachers? I have not, uh, have not checked. All right, we got another ovum. So, Claw, go ahead and fertilize that. Get another baby brew in here. Mira's mini friends. Toxoid and... Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna deal with it. Not for someone we don't know anyway. A non-dwarf at that. Get out of there. I really want them to finish one of these, but hopefully get someone to go trade off some of our excess beer sometime. That's how babies are made. That's right. What do you mean? It's literally making a baby. We didn't, we didn't like get rid of a baby in her or something. Okay. Get that in the growth fat. Our insect high is best spot with fire. Uh, yes and no. If you can do it without burning your base down or superheating your base, then sure, it's great. But, I mean, I just had an infestation that we just melee blocked, so I usually just try to melee block. A manga reference? I have no idea. All right, we got a third Dwarven Bean. The birds in the growth bats. High psychic drone. Ouch. Stay inside. walk up to it yeah <laughs> what do you do under that thing heat on the mountain is a no-no yeah gotta be careful why planet when it says warning isn't 275 275 best i played on the 325 for this one for the bigger mountain size 
the warning does not really matter for this as much. So there are both pros and cons to bigger maps. So the thing it's warning you about with pathing doesn't matter to me because I don't go over to the edge or far out into the map. Anyway, I r rely on zoning. So what that is talking about is if you have a large map and someone has a job that they are queued to do and it's far out on the map, they will ignore their needs while they are queued up for the job as if they were locked into it. So they will ignore their needs and therefore they can, you know, have breakdowns, they can literally starve, they can exhaust, and they can fall down far away. I use zoning rules, so that doesn't matter for me. So there are some benefits to big maps and some, some detriments. So the benefit, obviously more resources overall for the long run. Um, things like raids spawning far away takes longer to get to you. Uh, there's some other ones as well, but some of the, the downsides is obviously in late game, it's going to perform a little bit worse because more stuff going on. Um, also, if you have something you have to go get to, like a siege or something like that, it's further away. So you have to, if you don't have uh, mortars or whatever, you're going to have to fight your way to the mech clusters and sieges much further away. Now, our people get unhappy in sunlight, so that's a big minus for us. Um, like, if you have to go get something on the map, like you have to go save someone, you have to go get items, you have to caravan off somewhere. All that takes more time and is more dangerous. But there are both pros and cons to it. But I would say as long as your game can run correctly and you use zoning rules well you don't have to worry a child our modest fellowship expands praise the sub right our first child all right uh we need to get this set up we'll just throw something down for right now man that was fast i was in uh i wasn't expecting how fast that actually was um furniture so we'll do the school desk uh, out of steel. We'll move it to a better place in just a second. But for right now, we'll just throw this here. Get three blackboards. One, two, three. All right. Is the biotech YouTube run over already? Yes, I finished that on Sunday. One episode a day is going up on YouTube, but I finished it on stream on Sunday. This is biotech as well, but, but biotech run too. Can your caravan exit up there? Yes, they can. Uh, Kronk. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Kronk. Very much appreciated. All right. So I'm actually going to name the children in this run. Once they get to childhood, we will name them. So who's our first baby dwarf? Rain Man. Grats, Rain Man. You're our first named child. All right, Rayman, I want you to pick up this chain shotgun. <laughs> you can connect. Why so many? Because you can connect it to a single desk to increase um, the growth tier learn rate crap. But yeah, you can connect three to a single desk. All right. Are we almost done with this? Maybe I will just go over here anyway. Um... Let's put, let's see. Defeated insect hive. The only good bug is a dead bug. They can walk, they can hold a gun. That's right. You gotta get rid of that diverse thoughts. It's really causing problems. Of course, that high second drone is what's really pushing things down right now. Blackboards work kind of like tool cabinets. Kinda, yeah. She's doing her part. <laughs> It's been a while since I watched that. I need to watch that again. All right, Psychic Drone has ended. My child is in a growth fat. It looks like it doesn't stack. Social effects, how much learning a child will get from a pawn? You mean social on the caretaker? I'm not sure. I know they get social experience for it. You want to see them launch or use the chain shotgun and just launches them backwards. Twins, triplets, etc. I haven't seen any twins or triplets, so I don't know if that's a possibility or not. I don't think so, but I haven't. I don't know. Hypothermia. Oh god, I'm gonna actually have to make child clothing. Oh, it's actually cold.
I don't have a target. Dedicated to Doomsday. I have a bait target. We probably need to get a single animal as a bait target. Because I don't want to shut that door right now. Oh, I'm going to have to shut it. At least temporarily. Can I tame a squirrel? Yeah, unfortunately our doors are really bad at animal stuff, so. Of course, the baby's too hot. Now the baby's too cold. That's right. G7, I think that should start to be all right. I don't want to use all these, but guess we will. All right, make uh, should give them parkas. Just <laughs> no pants, just put a little parka on them. That works. Make a kid parka. I'm good with that. How much is the growth bat speed up growth? Uh, I think, what is it default? Is it four times on default? And they call it a mine. Your Grim can now duo Dragon 20 with these. That's pretty awesome. So did. Back to ribbing. Launchy Baby Backers mind you when Doom Animal Crossing New Horizons have the same release date. <laughs> Showing Isabel how to use the shotgun. All right, it's 70 in there now. Stop your griping. We'll staff her, make one of those really quick. There we go. Kid, put on your parka. An excellent child's parka. Look at him. Run around his. Oh no, he's going nature running? Wait a minute. Oh, I see, I see. No, child, no. <laughs> we don't go there. The masterpiece, Child Parker. Ben Shin, welcome, uh, welcome back. Uh, Tox, welcome in. All right, so what do we need to start working on next? Uh, a normal sculpture. Let's see what that brings us to, just out of curiosity. Slightly impressive. All right. All right. Who has the most mood problems? Uh, probably Evig. See how that goes. I mean, it's kind of look, locks the kid out of the two learning times. So wonder how, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the nature running thing is going to work because there's no trees under here. I wonder if the mushrooms, not these mushrooms, but the mushrooms you can have just grow on their own would end up counting. Not sure. Also, I need to start planning out this uh, other tunnel. We're going to have like a, a minigun tunnel from this side, but until then... The shotgun tunnel. I think I want to have... Be about 11. How do you put cables under them? It, when you... That's one reason why you smooth the wall. If you smooth the wall, you can then run cables through them. And you can also repair them. So that's one of the good things. Other than just like the beauty and whatnot. That's why they're not running through these ones. So about 11, let's put it back here some and I'll just uh, I'll just build into it. So let's go with maybe about here. So 11.
Do I want to shoot from... I think I want to shoot from the left and right, not top and down, actually. That should work better overall. Okay, so let's think about that. If I want to shoot left and right... I want them to come up this way, then. Flora makes the count for your wealth. It does, yep. It does. I think I'll put the starter one here. We can always change it. We can always change it. Find yourself an editor for YouTube. I ha yeah, I have someone that I'm gonna I'm gonna test. Um, I have some other people that I would need to reply to as well. I've just been really super busy, of course. But I I do have at least one person that's gonna gonna start doing some, and then I'm gonna be contacting some other people too. All right, so if we have that tunnel coming in, and we want. A left and a right attack. We can just start with left, though. The tunnel's coming in. They're coming up this way. And we want to attack from here. So we'll start... Like here. And about 11, I think. We'll see how that would look. And then... We can connect it through there. We'll have these people shooting from this side. And then... Later, we'll have, like, people shooting from that side. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. Why is a turret behind a door and a wall to cause collision? It's not showing. That's interesting. All right, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I have a guy that goes over it. Exclusion path thing, yeah. All right, let's take a look at this. So... Dig this out first. Wi-Fi turret. Yeah, what's, what's going on with that? It's interesting. I don't think it actually has power, but... Okay, and then I need... We want them coming through this way. sure which way I want to do it. Automatons, you need about two turrets for every dwarf. It depends on which dwarf, yeah. There's so many different dwarf lures. I'm actually not sure which direction I want to do this. Keep changing my mind. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, let's connect this, then I'll go from there. Start work. Your job's parking lot. Watch for a few. Nice. All right, so we want two there. And then skip. 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 I, I, all right, so I, I guess I'll just do the vertical. I don't know. <laughs> I keep changing my mind. Like, if we do this, everyone's going to be shooting down, and then I'll have to get people around to the bottom. So maybe it is best. <laughs> Just keep a second to guess myself. So I do not name. I don't name. I only name the pawn Adam if I do a naked brutality start. Or a single pawn start, so. I should say. All right, all right. I'll fix that. Too scared of insects to run like this. We just had an infestation. It wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. But we do have really good melee, so that does help significantly.
Thank you, Cage. All right, so enemies walk in here. We want them to turn and go up. And then we need one, two. So we want to dig in there, there. Skip one. Dig in, dig in. And we got the melee. And then one, two, three, four shooters, right? So we got the two melee. Block one shooter, block two, block three, block four. Okay. All right, that should be that should be a good start. So I dug a little bit too much there, but whatever. Can always disable them. That's true. Could do that. Mind too greedily and too deep. You can also turn them off game settings and back on later. Yeah. Yeah, if you know how to deal with bugs, not too bad. Usually. All right, how's the growth tier doing here? He says 78% learning. 81. Next growth at seven. Okay. You know how to deal with them, you just don't want to. That's fine too. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Okay. So yeah, I dug I dug out way too much because I was originally gonna do it vertically. Vertically shooting, but no oh well. Oh well, I'll get ripped up anyway. What does the learning percentage on the growth vat mean? Does the growth vat have a learning percentage one? Uh, where does it show it? I haven't really looked at learning in the growth vat. To see what they actually get if you just leave them in there forever. I've just been leaving them in there until three. Twenty-eight. We already took rhinos, right? No, we took sloth. So let's take rhino next. We're gonna have so many little dwarven children. Bugs of free kim fuel, free meals for me. Oh, on the child. Uh, well, we only have babies in them right now, so they they don't have the learning meter yet. Door was growing mushrooms and kids. It's 2022. <laughs> We've got two EMPs now, too. Hmm. This is all considered outdoors, right? So we could make. Once we get that smoothed out and get this. Uh, where it's not going to burn, we can make a. A moat, a fire moat, not a burn tunnel this time. Do lifter max fill growth vats with food? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have one going. I think they would, but yeah, I don't know. Just become holler cleaners. Do they still gain passions and traits? Don't know. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty. I think they get just way less options, right? So I still think they get things, but whereas infestations, we literally just had one. There's a cooldown on infestations, so you're not going to see them like every friggin' day. But we just had one. Like literally, what, 30 minutes ago. Try using romance option to hook them up. Yes, I did. And I set them, yes, and I set them for 400% try for baby. Yep. Yep. All right, to the vent. They only get one. They only get to choose one. Thank you. I didn't know the numbers. I knew they still got... I knew they got less choices. I didn't know it was just one, though. Cooldown's like 14. Something like that. 14 or 20, somewhere around there. You haven't seen one in five minutes. So. 
Not sick baby became a child. Nice. Get him out of there. All right, not sick baby. You're going to get a name too. I'm actually naming the Dwarven children this time. All right, what's your name? It's Hash Monkey. Hash Monkey. Hash Monkey? You were born with a different ideology? Might have to arrest you, child. <laughs> we're, uh, we're bigoted, so... He was born with the ideology... Wait, Ron wasn't even his mother. That's annoying. That's annoying. Seeing y'all, if we need to be doing this on cooldown, let's see. Oh my god, she's all the way back up. Uh, Alright, where is this hash monkey child? Uh, Go ahead and grab... Grab that SMG. Here, we'll make you a piece of clothing. And let's go ahead and try to brainwash this child. Okay, converts. Get up, hash monkey. I convert you. <laughs> SMG's bigger than he is. So. Four years. First thing it did was sitting down. And started rolling blunts. <laughs> Seventy-five. Okay. Seventy-five percent. Let's try it. Three years old. Grab a gun. Welcome to the rim. Let's go lobster. Drifter's Desire Aid. Please, we just need 58 beers. Just 58 beers. <laughs> Spare some beer. Spare some beer. At least they're honest about it, you know. Effective down to 70%. At least they're being honest about it. Kids drink the beer or take any drugs. Not until 13. Masterwork kids clothing. Oh my god. Why are you guys doing this to me? They start. Doing, they can start doing drugs at 13. 11 year old asked you for 26 beers for their sick uncle. <laughs> Perfect. Sir Bug, where pre-patched fabric cores don't cook. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it, but... Thirteen. Good age to start doing drugs, apparently. I think higher social skill improves teaching speed. Seems to have gone up after using a social skill trainer. That's good. That's good to know. Okay, we're gonna make simple helmets. Soul Sapper. Oh, that's a good question. Learning meter or skill level? Make kid helmets. <laughs> Ah, they can get a helmet when they turn 13. It's fine.
raid. What do we got here? Scattered pods. Okay, schedule. To the walls. To the walls. Uh, looks like we got 12 explosive pirates. Are these guys enemies to them? No, of course not. Why would why would they be? All right, children, it's time to go to war. This is not done yet, so we're gonna have to use the old fashioned one here. Oh, he's fast. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like, screw this, I'm out. <laughs> Big step on trap. See ya. <laughs> All right, GG, a little raid. Put a table down there. I need to do a smelter up, start smelting these corpses sometimes, or smelting the metal from the corpses sometime. But oh no, where'd the shield belt go? Did this one have one? We had a few of them with shield belts. No, I was too fast. Oh well, we'll get the next ones. That does suck. I need two shield belts. Mass work. I saw that pop up for the ugly corpse. I was like, get him out. Oh, uh, well. Hey, Tet, have a good shift. What time is my second stream starting? Probably around 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. 6.30 or 7. Good old fashioned whoopsie. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Thirty-one on Soul Sapper. Can we take yours? Okay. Do off stacks. Don't see how many times. It does. Forty cell fives. Catch you on the way home. Uh, yeah. So you'll. Uh, I'll be live for probably like an hour and a half, two hours of uh, of your time. How much time do you have left? Thank you, Shy. Welcome back. All right, we're going to put a wall there. There we go, another ovum. These are all gonna be the children of Claw. <laughs> uh, round of mushrooms again with this many. Oh my God, the growth vats take so much food. It's unreal. I mean, our doors are eating more as well, you know, but, but holy crap. It's actually really nuts how much extra they, they eat, man. Really crazy. Uh, all right. Smooth surface. I need to smooth this so we can turn this into a little, a little inferno. And go from there. We were set out to mission yesterday. Yes. Growing them in prisoner blood is starting to sound good about now. <laughs> Man, they take so much nutrients. It's really crazy. Really crazy. Like we don't even have enough for a third one right now.
can feed him packs to the growth vet. I'm guessing so, because you can also eat them. Two by one prison rooms? No. Not taking any prisoners right now. insect meat as well yeah they do have nutrition in them so oddly enough all right i think we'll start using this one start to use this one doors we use for for escape yeah Point one nutrition per bag then. Ah, uh, yo dude, thank you for the three months. Thank you, yo dude. Maddie, thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Maddie. Kronk Meister, thank you for the Twitch Prime also. I think I already thanked you, but I'll thank you again. Thank you again. Mostly good, I think. What's the light level down here? Uh, it's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. I guess we could go ahead and start using this one. Beer grown kids. Let's go over this run. I don't know. I'm just playing a themed mountain run. Just having fun doing, uh, or try, trying to see what it's like to have a bunch of bat grown children and playing around with jeans and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a royal victory eventually. Seems relatively thematic. The royal dwarves. I can't believe how much nutrition, though, these take, man. It's really nuts. Really nuts. Thunder Sounds Room World, never watching the tiny map run. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually lost a tiny map run to some storms. Man, oh, man. King under the mountain. That's right. Oh, God. We need, uh, we need some wood. True Dwarven babies grown in beer. Can't wait till some of these Dwarven children grow up. Boy, they're gonna have a lot of raids between now and when they grow up, though. So it's gonna take them. I mean, right now three, right? So need nine more years, so nine more quadrums, so. A little over two years. Bio starvation. Oh no. <laughs> High King under Karak. Any infestations? Yep. Had one every day of this run so far. Every real day of the run. Just had one about an hour ago. Can't put hops or warts in there. Can't put beer in there. <laughs> Why beer for their babies or the dregs? Yeah. Oh my god, we might end up having to cut this early or... Yeah, we're gonna have to cut some early. I might have to go hunt. Oh my good lord. They're eating so much. So much. The donkey out there. 
We gotta start growing babies. Holy crap. No beer grown children. Yeah, I guess not. Thought I'd be able to sell some. Yeah, I actually thought I had overproduced. Vat children are hungry little monsters. The Dwarven ones, doubly so, I guess. I'm guessing their genes... Wait, so does the 125% extra hunger rate work even on the Vat children? I mean, it's really feeling like it's, it is, so... I might have to. I might have switched to paste, yeah. Paste for adults and uh, baby food for these. gonna be a fight for mushrooms basically you face food sure i usually don't yeah we just played a bunch of mountain runs no no problem but man oh man this one's been uh been crazy We're roughly 2.5 three pounds each on food. Well, let's see. Let's see. In a normal run, these would be uh, enough to support six colonists, roughly, on simple meals forever. On a normal run, each of these rooms at 121 Nutrifungus is about, like, if they get harvested and planted immediately. So let's just say five to five and a half pawns. So we have enough food here for let's say 20 to 22 pawns but our dwarves are uh they eat more food and the growth fats are insane so we're only feeding 9 10 11 12 you count the growth fats we're feeding 12 and we have enough stuff here for like 20 to 25 people but man oh man just going through no problem yeah you can now click them and see how much is in it there's 121 nutri fungus yeah 11 by 11 interior 20 Nutrifungus crops per colonist for simple meals. Yeah. Six hives. Maybe I take that for the bug meat. How many hives did we just beat? Four? Our last infestation was four hives. Sport. Um, I usually do 13 by X. 13 by X walls, but you can go six away. You can build a roof six six tiles away from the support. Yeah, it's really crazy. Yeah. Insect. Yeah, we're tunnelers. Yep. Yeah. Am I using a mod that shows? No, that's new in 1.4. You go into options. You go into interface and sh um, weapons below portraits is now in the base game. We have no idea. They're a six-year-old, so not very good. And they're not a dwarf. Probably won't do it. Probably won't do it. So these children to grow up. Grow up, children. Put your baby. Oh my God, our people get so unhappy. We're not cannibals in this run. Front of the bedrooms, just going uh, there to fight infestations. 
for melee block infestations and fighting them. A five open setup. Actually, some bugs, I think, will explain a little bit more. Need more people in planting too. Like we literally only have one person. We put Lilith on there. She's only gonna be a temporary colonist. Not anymore. All right, let's see. Uh, convert, solve cooldown. Where's that little hash monkey? There's Rayman. Hash monkey sleeping. All right, hash monkey. As soon as you get up, you're getting converted to our religion. Well, partially. Uh, no, I'm not going to do a mechanic tour in this run, most likely. Pregnant dwarf. We have no pregnant dwarves. We have no pregnant dwarves. All right. I'm tired of waiting on you. You're getting up. Down to 56. Starvation, uh, I know. I know. Where are these ones at? Oh, man. Brutal, brutal. What have you converted everyone else to the true religion instead? Uh, uh, no, I think I, we want to stay as tunnelers, yeah. We're actually getting like really to, like starvation point here. The insect quest is looking better and better. Start just eating the baby food. A healthy vat birth. Another vat, baby. Do I have food for it? Beer do they drink a day? Right now I have them only on one beer every four days, so we're overproducing a little bit. That's one reason why I stopped uh, producing or uh, planting hops right now is because we're super good on it. Fellowship expands. All right, Praise they're eating. Uh, Carlo, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Carlo. Very much appreciated. Not vatting a baby until they're three. Uh, you get a mood hit from putting them in a vat. You get a minus four for vat babies. Expands. I'm gonna Praise go with Mamph. Mamph. Thank you for the Switch Prime. I'm probably butchering your name, but I appreciate it. Sierra, welcome in. Oh boy, oh boy. Someone pick up this vat, baby. That's not somewhere safe. It's not somewhere safe at all. I guess I should make a crib just for when this happens. Like a uh, in-between area for the vat babies when they first pop out. Lots of mushroom rooms from each other. Insect infestations. If an infestation happens here, I can go in here and handle them in sections, you know? Like, let's say an infestation spreads between these two. I can melee block here, take care of this one, then go up and take care of the other one. Just claps. Uh, 
You can do... I, I could have combined these with no collapse anyway, but... There is a baby sleeping spot. Yeah, I know. Fat baby starving. Oh, my lord. Or why it's not letting me choose fat baby here? Did last time. Is it because there's no nutrients in there, maybe? Can you melee block Manhunter? Yes, you can, but the rot stink is a real friggin' issue right now, so. And right now there's no, like, gas masks and things like that don't prevent against rot stink. I think they should change that, but. Isn't it starving? No baby edible food. Someone else ate all the baby food. Oh my god. All right, let's go into assignments. Manage food restriction. They're on lavish. Um, select food, lavish, turn off. Baby food? Stop eating the baby's food. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Yeah, no wonder it's crying. It's starving to death. Big, make a little bit more baby food. There you go. Thank you. All right, Rom. Okay, someone was carrying it. They're just putting the baby food straight in the vats, too. Because the vats just don't have enough nutrients, so... Well, my people are going to starve trying to feed these friggin' babies. Oh my god. Guys, don't don't make a lot of vat children at once unless you have a lot of food going in. Big, there we go. No pause strikes again. All right. Stop trying to put things places. Feed the baby. There we go. As you were. How are you alive already? Take care of my body? What do you mean? I'd stream at 9.30 a.m. Like every every morning. That's what I've been doing for like years. At the moment, I have to stream two streams a day for the entirety of November. So it doesn't matter anyway. So yes, I'll be streaming twice a day almost every single day in November. But I mean, normally I, I, I mean, I have to get up and get my daughter to school and then I just get on the stream. Freddy. Freddy Fred Fred. Thank you for the five months. Thank you, Freddy. That's right. It's a job. Right now, it's a, a, a double-time job. Overtime job. Did we get to hydrate? I literally just drank. <laughs> I think you were timing that probably as I was doing it. Basically, ask about only. Yeah, I know. I really think it should work for Rod Stink. 26 hours a day. Uh, Sensei, welcome in. Let's go on, Sensei. All right, we still haven't gotten all that done. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Let's you have a slower December. Yeah, we'll see. It depends on what Twitch wants to wants to tell me. Also, of course. 
All right. That vat may be thrown in that. Maybe worth getting. Yeah, that's true. The tox lungs. Oh, wait. Does the tox lungs also prevent lung rot or only the pollution type thing? Let's go and tuck. Yes, actually, I should run. We'll tell you more. Soul Sapper on a food binge. Great one to have, Soul Sapper. I'm actually tempted to arrest you. <laughs> The tool set says they do good. Yeah, that's good to know. They changed cloth mask already? Let's check. Uh, do we have access to it yet? Here we go. This fabric, which covers the wearer's mouth and nose from several layers of a textile, it is remarkably effective in reducing the effects of environmental toxins. Toxic environment resistance. How resistant the creature is. Protects the, against tox gas, rot, stink, toxic fallout, and polluted terrain. So it does, yeah. Someone was saying yesterday that they... They didn't, maybe they didn't when it first came out. They've changed so many things in hotfixes, so. So 50% on those. 50%. Okay. Let's go on, Cap. Welcome in. Grammy, welcome in. Turned in for a few months. New DLC worth buying? I think so, yeah. It's like two. It's like two and a half DLCs in one. But I'm biased, of course, so. You just say Itakin into a vampire. 200% metabolism is brutal. Caught a stream. Uh, Mr. Gooby, welcome in. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you for watching over there. More on the way as always. More on the way as always. Man. Should not make that third growth vet. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, I might, I might go into nutrient paste temporarily. It being mushroom paste will counteract it a little bit. Let's just get it researched in case I have to do it. They get a mood buff from eating mushrooms, so the minus four from the nutrient paste is a big deal. All right. So much beer. Yeah, we'll trade some, man. Yeah. We'll probably start doing... Uh, or a day for the mood instead. And let's see here. Cassandra only hit once this time. That's good. I'm sure she's revving up. That's new race, in my opinion, on an average map. I don't know. Like, out of just the... I mean, sanguifage, I suppose. <laughs> like... Oh, that's kind of a cop out though, so yeah, I don't know. On a standard map. I don't know. They're they're all pretty specialized with different things. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go into pace until we get back ahead here, so I think I will as much as I didn't really want to. It's nice tile. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a pretty standard mountain map, aside from the fact that uh, there's three geothermals right here, which is pretty awesome. In fact, I think this geothermal won't even get hit by breachers, so they mainly come from this side. So we have two geothermals that are basically breacher safe in a mountain base, which is pretty awesome. This one I probably won't be able to build because it'll just get hit by breachers, but we'll see. What's my favorite non-temperate forest biome? Boral forest, yeah. Not... not Super easy, map, but I like Boral Forest. Uh, Alright, Sloth, let's go again. Keep people from starving. 
naked brutality as werewolf if he does the E.T. Keen or it's not my next playthrough but I do plan on doing a playthrough of each of the starter factions especially after everything kind of settles down with the hot fixes and whatnot wear a cloth mask and a flak helmet at the same time nice yeah you can make your own yeah absolutely that's what I did with the dwarves I did with the doors mountain bases you never got all the way extremely deep into the mountain it's that safe it is safe as long as you know how to take care of bugs yeah it's very safe breachers and bugs are your big problems in the mountain welcome back your steadfast uh, party loyalty H. is 13 months well that's almost one entire calendar year i've heard thank you, thank you for the resub sky welcome in All right, let's uh, temporarily switch to nutrient paste. As much as I didn't want to do it. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. That chair for now. Uh, maybe we don't have to. Maybe we won't screw it up. Let him build it. Known bugs that haven't been fixed in the hot fixes. Uh, I think so, yeah. I'd be surprised if there aren't. Thing, it's kind of tiring dealing with them. My only real problem, I don't have a problem like, you know, killing them usually. My problem with them is having to rebuild and clean up. It's annoying. How large the pace is there is compared to everything else in the game? Yeah, it is pretty massive. Pretty massive. All right, that'll help us for a little bit. So we're going to uh, spin some meals. So we'll do the animal product one. Okay. What do you do with insect meat? So there is a trick to insect meat. If you're doing a normal run, you're not a tunneler, and your people hate insect meat, you can still get a mood buff off of insect meat by making it into fine or uh, lavish meals. So if you make the insect meat into a fine meal, the buff, the mood buff you get from fine meal is actually higher than the debuff for eating insect meat. So just make sure you set up a, a rule in your normal games, even if you don't like insect meat, unless you want to use it for kim fuel or trade it or something like that. But if you want to use it as food, just make it into either fine or lavish meals and it overcomes the debuff. So the reason we're not using the rooms yet, I don't want the extra wealth yet. Raids are already kind of scary, so I just haven't switched over completely yet. Right now, these are no extra wealth, like literally zero because I haven't smoothed anything, but... I'll see what the quality is just smoothing the walls. Smoothing walls is basically no wealth, so let's see what that is, and we just leave the leave the floors as is, and we'll see what that gets to. Do you remember the barracks? Yeah, just playing differently. Yeah, just just for fun. Starvation. Get it done. The raids not spawn from the tunnel to the edge of the map? They do not. Because it's overhead mountain. Raids can't spawn into overhead mountain. It's going cons. Welcome in. There we go. Why are the tables differently? Because it is techist ideology style. So if you go into your if you have ideology, you can change your styles. Those are techist tables. Psychic like soothe, nice. All right, how are you doing on your growth tier? 97% learning, nice. 86%, nice. If you 
if you dig mountain to the edge of the map and the entire part is overhead mountain, raiders cannot spawn from there, but they can leave from there. Things cannot enter there, but they can leave. Exhalation genes. Why do I have high life? It's drunk life. We require beer, so that's why. The vat baby died. I didn't realize it was that close to starvation. Oh my gosh, that sucks. And we are the dwarves. We have to bury our, our dead. I don't have a tomb set up yet, so. Sorry, baby. That sucks. It's the first baby death we ever had. I thought we had a little bit more time. We were just getting those mushrooms done. We almost had it. Man, we were going to be upset by that for a while. That's sad. That's sad. We'll be, we'll bury you. Yep, I sure am. Yep, exclamation run. Exclamation run. Well, that sucks. <laughs> what? Soul Sapper, what's wrong with you? My rival, Vat Baby, has died. What do you mean, your rival? <laughs> He's got a mood buff because the baby died? How are you its rival? It was conceived in a petri dish and shoved in a vat. I hate that friggin' baby. He's eating all the mushrooms. <laughs> all right, well. Ooh, minus 20. Minus 20. Gotta hope this works. Counseling. No, it didn't work. Uh, that's... At least he has the marriage thing. It's helping. My niece died. Well, well that's really rough. Oh, uh, well. It's been a mayday. Bunny, welcome in. Can't believe he was rivals of the baby. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. He knew things about that baby. <laughs> Guess so. Rom, uh, go ahead and close that door, please. I was not expecting that. People are going to be really unhappy about this death in the very first person I opened. Man, I'm happy that died. How the baby died? We didn't have enough nutrition in the third vat, unfortunately. And what sucks is we had just started bringing in new mushrooms. It was really close. I didn't realize it was that close. I thought we had... I thought we had a little bit more time. It's really unfortunate. So. Lost, doing... Throw into the vats. Baby food, you'll double the food. Okay. So. You can use hay? How efficient is growing hay? For the for the babies. Alright, we'll see that way. Going horrors, welcome in. That'd be naturally conceived, just stuffed in a vat. Um, no, all the, all the babies right now are from uh, IVF. Yeah. No natural child childbirths yet. Have I played Stranded Alien Dawn? I have not. Why not use the high weakness UV? We have the normal weakness UV. If I use the high weakness, we're gonna be really screwed if we need to go take care of a met cluster or if we need to caravan or if we need to like go somewhere and stop an off-map problem causer and we suddenly have the huge hit from the 
from that, we're, we're gonna have bad times so. though. Even just the normal UV hit is not great, obviously. So close to being done. A baby formed in the growth bat. What? That one's dead too. That really sucks. Wow. It had me name it though. Like what? Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's not good. Where are you taking it? Uh. Cold sad heat wave effect at Red Mountain. Yes, just not as much. It still does. First, baby ugly? No. I don't know why they had it as a rival. Your kids, have they lived a few years? That's right. Yep. Please name this before it dies. Yeah, weird. Weird. Chicken join. Cut. The power wasn't out for too long, but it, I mean, the big thing too is, I mean, that might have contributed to it some as well, but it's probably both factors, you know? Let's wait until we uh, have a steady, more steady supply of mushrooms coming in before I activate the other vats again. I have a baby crypt going, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Going in and out of the vats. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can put them in all the way up to, thir is it 13? I think 13. Can you put them to 18? I don't know, at least 13. You can put them to at least 13, I know. Uh, so let's see here. I need to do some digging sometime. See what's over here. It is 18. Okay, thank you. I also need to see if there's thin rock roof here, but that's going to screw with breacher AI. So I doubt I'm going to dig any of that out. So we'll just see over here. Doors are turned to the stone. We could, uh,. We could actually do that thematically and and make it so that we have a room where we can mine out a side of it and the roof collapses in the middle and we can put our corpses there and delete them that way. <laughs> Return to the stone. All right, what is this one? 26. Let's see what this does. Everyone's pretty happy, despite the fact that two children just died. So even that gets to slightly impressive. Okay, that's all I need to know. All right, so we just need to make some more uh, normal, normal statues, okay. Base location is interesting. Under the mountain. Under the mountain. 
Hey, look, the chickens are coming home to roost. What mat size? 325. I usually use 275, but we're in a bigger mountain, so. All right, they've roosted. They've come home to roast. Almost done. Okay. Do you have another excellent bed? We do. Uh, we'll put Soul Sapper in that one, I suppose. It's back on the menu. Okay, we'll put that there. We can burn that in case of emergency as well. Sight and Soothe is over, unfortunately. Who is the sarcophagus with the corpse inside? No. Nope. Do I have the crop set up inside? Yep. I do. Because we are a tunneler, so we can make uh, we can make fungal gravel, and you can grow crops in fungal gravel. see when the last uh we're gonna get hit with cassandra again here soon we're in the 50s for well 50 thousands of well we yeah, gotta chill out a little bit chill out a little bit logging camp this next raid might be brutal can be done to encourage making babies the normal way traits are genetic wise I have the traits for it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I think I should have made all my people younger. So most of my people were in their late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s, and they just they just have a lower chance of, of babies in general. So I think if we lose this and I redo this run, I think I will have, if we do tribal, I'll have two males, three female, no relationships at all, or no like uh, family relations, obviously. And... Uh, I think I'll have, like, the maximum age be, like, 22 or something. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put one down. We're, this is actually close enough to the table now, but I'll probably do one. Max age 25. That's what, yeah, that's what I should have done. I think I had the max age set for, like, 40 or something. I, was, I just wasn't thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Is that off cooldown? Almost. Well, but no, we haven't had any, we haven't had any incest in our games yet. Fortunately, it warns you. It's like, are you sure you want to make a baby with between these two people? They are brother and sister. <laughs> like, oh, my bad. Yeah, let's not do that. All right, that is off. So let's see, hash monkey. Oh my god, Hash Monkey. You see this? You see Hash Monkey out here running? Not running wild. What is it? Nature nature running? Whatever it calls it. Get in. All dwarves are brothers and sometimes sisters. But yeah, uh, Cassandra might just kill us. We're we're like almost 60,000 wealth and we don't have a lot of firepower, so... Played auction not included? I have, yeah. Played it quite a bit on the stream back when it was uh, in early access. All right, convert this little hash monkey. Oh wait, hash monkey already got completely converted? Oh, nope, maybe I clicked the wrong person. There we go. Oh, I, I see what I did, yeah. 
I see what I did. Only where you can be your own cousin. <laughs> yeah, I played uh, Oxygen Include in Early Access. I haven't played it since the big update and when they uh, did the DLC and stuff, though. So I know a lot has changed since the last time I played it. Silver Meteorite. Welcome Go on, Morbo. Back. Welcome in. Your steadfast soul. loyalty is Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Soul. All right. Definitely need to get someone off to trade. We'll see what these children get. Yeah, some of the auction nice. included run is on the secondary YouTube channel. Yeah. Adam versus Archive. Thank you. Erasmus, tier three. Six months. That's like that's like 30 months. Nearly half calendar year. <laughs> Thank you, Erasmus. That's very generous of you. Uh, much love to Erasmus. Royal trade. Or, not really trader, but. We'll just leave this as like one. We're gonna use it for the gross vets. There we go. All right. Let's get some of this other research that we'll eventually use done. Fan slides is a nice one. Person, her eldest is ten. She's on a twenty-five percent chance. I mean, no beer at death's none. Yeah, we healthy vat birth. We've uh. We went overkill on the beer. All right, let's see if we can get this one to... Let's go energize. Let's see if we can get this one to actually survive. Right now, they're playing with it. Set to go into the vat. Um, we have mushrooms around. Start out with beer or beer research. Start out, so if you get the beer requirement or any of the drug requirements, they start out with some in their inventory and I did start it, uh, start with it research as well. There we go, into the vat. Names are set when saving or loading ideologies right next to the name when you click edit, there is a small transit lock icon oh really yeah that's interesting i must have used that for the like i told you the min max one always saves the names but this one didn't that's good to know i must have hit it no storage racks are you talking about shelves there's a shelf there's a shelf there's a shelf that's all i need right now best song <laughs> it's going unholy coffee Advanced lights, nice. I'm guessing you were talking about shells, yeah. Excellent bed, nice, nice. Yes, that's what the exclamation run means. Yep. Exclamation run. I am playing thematically different just for fun. Barracks have not been nerfed. They're still overpowered. Look how happy everyone is. I don't need to put them in bedrooms. I'm just doing it to do it. Just to play this one differently. Do you have any plans in the bedroom hallway? I do. I'm going to make it a giant um, uh, dining and recreation hallway. So, like, every other one is going to be a table... And then every other one, or everyone in between, will be the recreation. And this will end up being the uh, hospital research, construction, whatever. You'll never lose. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Let's 
Someone broke the first rule. Uh, I we all think face problems. we're gonna have enough food. This one has chosen to embrace. Actually, them. go into a few more of these now. How are we doing here? Age four. Some mead halls, basically. Yeah. Oh god, anxiety. Anxiety. Why? Uh, who is that? Uh, Quack. I think we're continuing the gift sub from hamsters. Hey, we can get a little bit of a uh, shooting experience here. So once this muffalo gets a little bit closer, where'd he go? There we go. Waste a run soon. We just started this run, so no. Probably doing this run for a couple weeks. All right, let's go uh, just grab a little shooting experience here. Had one in the lottery. I'm gonna dump a million. That would, oh my god, I can't even imagine, man. Uh, you will join us or win. die, master. Well, yeah, I do know you. I know you're serious, too. I don't even know what I would. I can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. Good luck. Good luck to both of us. Keep trying. Uh, Turek, thank you for the gift sub. LV Turek, thank you for the gift sub to Turek. Hang on a second. All his names look pretty similar. Thank you. Thank you for that. Is that like... Are you going to use darkness ideology? No, we're not fluid ideology, so no. No darkness in this run. No. All right. Only thing you need to worry about with mountain bases. You disable insects. Uh, the only other thing is be careful not to overheat it. Aside from that, yeah, pretty much. Breachers and bugs are your two biggest problems in a mountain base and obviously overheating. So we're gonna be mechs. Yep, there's already been mechs. Do you mean Mechanitor? We won't have our own mechs. I already did a bunch of Mechanitor stuff on the previous playthrough. But if you mean enemy mechs, yes, there will be. Mushrooms are not a mod. They've been in the game for over a year. Hey, what do you know? Did you summon these? Did you summon these? Oh, God, our first centipedes. We don't. We are not set up for that. Did you do this? Did you do this to me? Cassandra, why? A gamble? Sure. I gotta be quick with it. Manage prediction. Start prediction. Here we go. You're gonna have uh, one minute. Uh, there's three options. Victory, but we have... Victory, no pawn deaths. Victory, one or more deaths, or we lose. Alright, the prediction is going up now. If you don't see the pop-up, click on your channel points down below the stream. Fellowship expands. Praise the sub. It's not gonna do much, it'll do some. It's all centipede raid. All centipede. We got two centipede with miniguns, two blaster, and one friggin' inferno one. It's the one I'm really worried about. It'll, we could actually lose the run here. 100%. Welcome back. Your I'm not allowed to use these other guns either. Like the long range guns. I have an EMP, but it's not gonna help a whole lot. 
they're mechs. The mechs, yeah, the mechs have guns. They re-added, they re-added, um, centipede gunners to the game. They were in alpha, but they were gone for a long time. AI, thank you for the two months. Beans, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Beans. Thank you, AI. But yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're, it's a mech attack. That flag vest? Nope. <laughs> I just finished getting the helmets. We have a couple. We have a couple flak from raids, but not like. We haven't made our own. So beans. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry beans. It's not like that's not why I'm doing it or anything. It's not why I'm doing it. How do you level cooking without poisoning everyone? Psychite tea. Psychite tea only takes level two. Cooking, that's my preferred way to level it. I'm gonna try this first and then we might split over depending on how it's going. Or I can try to separate, oh God, okay. The friggin' burner centipedes in the, not in the front. Oh yeah, preparing warts. Yeah, that's another one. The answer, as usual, is drugs. Drugs. Could be, uh, this could be game over. <laughs> First time I've seen babies holding guns. I need to make a leader after this. Uh, shooting leadership aura combat command would have been clutch right here really worried about the flames to feed honestly three centipedes no 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 five centipedes <laughs> three centipedes I wouldn't be worried actually if the flame centipede gets a shot off from the corner we could lose yeah that's a big problem see if we can get the flame centipede in first. I'm going to try to pull these two up with the baby there. As soon as these two get past here, we'll pull. It didn't work. All right, let's go. All that beer well. Oh, we separated the flame centipede. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Coming out of the stun, they're gonna shoot down there.
See, if that happened with the flames that appeared, we're in trouble. going. I don't know why that one bounced that way. Might go, uh, be going down here to just destroy a structure. Go there. That's annoying. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Flames and Impedes coming back. This means leaving, retiring, he's had a good life. Uh, I'm gonna have to move them actually, just move over here. I do it at the right time. He didn't get a flame hit off. All right. Nice. <laughs> Good time on that grenade. Pat myself on the back for that one. Way to go. Way to go. All right. All right. We're good. Thank you, children, for, uh, for giving us some more DPS there. Okay. I'll be paying people out. Choose the outcome. Victory. No deaths. Paying out. 450,000 channel points. Nice. Nice. There you go. There's your channel points. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so we literally could have lost that. It, it looked like we couldn't have. It looked like we were overwhelmingly the favorite to win that. But if the flame centipede gets in there first or with the group, that's why I was trying to split it up with the child. If that gets in there and gets one flame shot off, we, we can lose 100%. Because if it hits and everyone panics, this is all steel. Like, it can go downhill very, very quickly. So, we need to get some uh, poppers, the very least, set up. Um, I was not expecting five centipedes already. So, a little a little terrifying. A little terrifying. That's all right. All right, I'm going to split the recording for YouTube. And uh, I'm going to go use the restroom really quick while I do that. The stream will continue. Um, hopefully, I don't get hit again while I'm gone. It'd be a really bad time to get like an infestation, um, but I'll be I'll be right back. Let me uh let me split the recording here.